Yo, what's happening people and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my top 6 VSTs for 2022. This video is going to be specifically dedicated to instrument plugins and I'm going to be making a separate one for VST effects. If you're new around here, then do me a favour and turn that subscribe button grey and if you click the bell beside it, you can also be notified every time that I upload. Now with all that said, let's get straight into it. The first plugin I want to talk about is Scalar 2. Now I didn't know whether to include this one on the list because I don't actually use it for its sounds. So I tend to just route it out to different instruments. But I just had to include it because of how useful it is. This plugin is absolutely perfect for people with little music theory knowledge. And it's also good for people with a good level of music theory knowledge because it pretty much eliminates beat block. So I'll just dive into the interface and show you through some of the features. So you're going to see that there's three main sections. We've got this top section where you can actually select your scale or you can also drag audio and MIDI files into it as well and it's going to detect the scale of them. We'll go for a C minor scale. It's going to give us all of the chords that are available in the C minor scale in this middle section. You've also got some menus up here where you can change the voicings and the variations of the chords. From here you can then just drag these chords down to the bottom and create your chord pattern or what's also cool is you can link any of these to your MIDI keyboard. So now when I press one key it's going to play a chord from this set here. So first I'm just going to change this to 7th so we've got some more full sounding chords. Then I'm just going to drag this C minor 7th down. Now what's cool in the newest update is you can also hit this suggest button and it's going to suggest some other chords that are going to sound good with this C minor. So I think I like this one. Now I'm going to select this F minor and I'm going to let it suggest me the next chord as well. I think that sounds good. Now if I unlink section B and link section C to my MIDI keyboard, I can now play these chords with the keys on my keyboard. Now like I said earlier, I don't really think these instruments sound the best, so I'm going to show you now how you can go about routing it to a different instrument. So I'm going to go onto this empty MIDI track and I'm just going to drag in Ableton Stock Piano. So now that I've got my grand piano loaded, I'm going to come to this section where it says all ins and I'm going to select Scalar 2. And then I'm going to come to post effects and I'm going to select Scalar 2 as well. Now I'm going to mute Scalar, hold control and hit the arm button on Scalar. And now you'll hear that all of the MIDI that's coming out of Scalar is being played by Ableton Stock Piano. Now I've just unmuted Scalar and muted the other piano so I can show you some of the melody features that are available in Scalar as well. So I've dragged the pattern from the grand piano back up to Scalar and now I'm going to turn on this perform section. Now if I come into this menu I've got loads of different ways that I can choose for this melody to be played using the chords that I've already put down. So I'm just going to go into the common performances and choose one of these basic ones. And now you'll hear that it's playing the melody using the chords that we've put down. Now another very cool thing you can do is hit this MIDI capture button and what that's going to do is capture the notes that are actually playing within the melody that Scalar's generated and give you a MIDI file for it. So all I need to do is while I've got this MIDI capture armed is just hit play. Mm -hmm. 
Then I can just drag this melody onto the playlist and I've got it in a MIDI file. Now when it comes to free wavetable synths and samplers, I don't really usually expect a lot. Now I'm still pretty new to using Vital, but to me it seems exactly the same as using Serum or Massive. With these wavetable synths, it can usually look like there's a bit too much going on, but I feel like Vital just managed to simplify it down a little bit. I think the GUI is nice and sleek, and the sort of animations are really nice. So of course the free version of this plugin is going to have the least amount of features, and I'm pretty sure if you pay for membership, then you get some sort of extra wavetables and sounds, but you can get some real good sounds out of this just from the basic wavetables. So first I'm just going to switch the wavetable to basic shapes. I usually like to start with the sine wave or this kind of squared off sine wave here. Next I'm just going to play with a unison. I think I'm going to set this to about 11 voices. Next, I'm gonna mess with some of the envelopes. We've got our normal attack, decay, sustain, release, all of that sort of stuff over here. So I'm just gonna shape the sound now. So I've added some shape to my sound now and I'm just gonna come over to the effects tab. Now these effects can be moved up and down in order that you want them to be in. So first I'm just gonna add some chorus. Next I'm gonna add some delay. Now I'm just gonna adjust the mix to make it really subtle. Now the last thing I'm gonna add is some reverb. And again, I just want this to be really subtle. I'm gonna use my high cut to take out some of the highs. And I'm also gonna do a low cut because I don't wanna reverberate any of them lows. So keeping up with a the free theme, next we've got Labs by Spitfire Audio. This is probably literally the best free VST that there is at the moment. This plugin is going to have 99% of the instruments that you want. Pianos, guitars, choirs, pads, and it's all really high quality samples as well. Since it released, I think it's had about two or three updates as well that added a good few banks to it. So it doesn't look like they're slowing down with adding content to this plugin. There's still some banks that I haven't even tried yet in Labs. So let me know what your favorite Labs banks are in the comments. So I'm just gonna throw some MIDIs in now from the Pattern Sounds liftoff kit so you can hear some of the presets. If you like the sound of any of these MIDIs, then that kit will be available in the description below. Now the next plugin I'm going to talk about needs no introduction and it's Omnisphere. Now this plugin used to be my number one so make sure you stick around to see what knocked it off the top spot. But I still do use Omnisphere a lot and if you have Trillion and Keyscape you can also access those libraries inside of Omnisphere as well. There is literally thousands and thousands of sounds inside Omnisphere and they're all of good quality as well so you've literally got endless possibilities with it. So now I'll just show you some of my favourite sounds inside of Omnisphere then we'll get onto the top two plugins for 2022.
So my second favorite plugin for 2022 is Artoria's Analog Lab. This is a plugin that I slept on for a long time because I thought it lacked customization features, which in fairness, it does if you don't own the V collection. But if you do own it, then the amount of customization features that you have are literally endless. Not only will you have access to all of the separate plugins on their own, but then you'll also be able to join them all together in Analog Lab and control the parameters from there. So all of the instruments that are available are here and you'll see that they've all got a real hardware look to them and even when you go inside them they still keep that same aesthetic. You can come in here and click open and it's going to open that specific VST. I like the way each of these plugins has got its own way to access the fine controls like on Mellotron you can click this hood and that's going to show you the pitch and wobble controls. In all fairness all of the plugins that come with the V collection stand up as good plugins on their own but when you've got Analog Lab to bring them all together it's even better. So my favorite plugin for 2022 and the one that I easily use the most is Contact. Now I can't lie, I don't really use the factory library that much and it's the third party libraries that are gonna give you the real source. Some of these third party libraries sound so realistic, it's actually hard to tell whether they're VSTs or real instruments. Of course that quality is gonna come at a price but then there's tons of free libraries available on websites like Piano Book. And me and the team at Pattern Sounds have actually developed our own contact library called the Gravity Piano, so I'll leave some links for that in the description. So I'll just flip through some of these libraries now and show you my favourite ones so you can get an idea of what to expect from contact.
So that is going to bring us to the end of today's video. If I missed your favorite VST off the list, then let me know what it is in the comments. And if the subscribe button's still red, then make sure you turn it gray. All of the melodies and midis that you heard in today's video can be found in the Pattern Sounds lift-off kit. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.